There are a few tree species that tell us something very specific about a forest history. One of these is gray birch. There are some of these tree species that we refer to as pioneers, meaning that they're the first species to colonize an area as it was reverting from field to forest or as it's responding to a disturbance. And some of these species like white birch or white pine or some of our aspens, while they are pioneer species, can actually persist in that forest for many decades. But then there are pioneer species that are really there just for a second. One of these that I've made a video about is pin cherry, and another one of these is gray birch. This species is extremely short-lived, think like 20 years, and usually doesn't get much bigger than this, which is like six or seven inches in diameter. In its modern context, I only see gray birch right after an area is reverting from field to forest. Let's say this gray birch tree is 15 years old. This was a field 15 years ago. And now you might be saying, Ethan, gray birch is an ancient tree species. It's been here for thousands of years. Where did it grow? before there were fields to colonize, because here in Vermont, almost everything was this relatively closed canopy forest for thousands of years until just a couple hundred years ago. And I wondered this myself until I was walking through an area with beaver activity. After beavers die, or if they deplete their food supply and they move on, eventually the open water habitats that they create drain, and it creates something called a beaver meadow, which would have probably been the closest natural analog to the fields and meadows that we have in Vermont today. As I was walking across this old beaver dam, I saw a beaver meadow and everywhere was gray birch. Historically in Vermont, we think that we had like 300 beaver dams per square mile in our valleys. And many of these valleys would have probably been these dense mosaics of different beaver created habitats from these open water habitats, shrublands, these wetlands, these young forests and beaver meadows. And it's very likely that for thousands of years, that's where gray birch lived. 